Sophie has interesting people working for her. Like you look anxious. Look, Urban, your nosy friend's back. Found a job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm, ballsy. Okay, then. What does your hungry soul crave? Uh, someone like you must know a lot. Out of modesty, I won't deny it. And maybe a little bird told you what might have happened to Lucas? <laughs> you know, I heard the pilgrim has come to the city. Very nosy. Grills people about stuff. Gets in the way. Sounds a lot like you. It can't be a coincidence. Sure it can. I don't believe in them. Now, you know anything about Lucas or not? No, that kind of information is expensive. You can't afford it. I could work for it. You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. Oh. <laughs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. He lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But getting to him is another story. But why? Hubert's not just a fence. He makes money where he can, and now he's hiding from half the city. He's super paranoid. Lives like a rat in a maze to keep himself safe. You'll need to climb up and find one of his secret passages to get in. I can handle it. When you're there, give him the password Sayonara, so he knows I sent you. Got it. I'm Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? Does it make a difference? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. Maybe that's because I just got into the city. For reals? Wow. Respect. I heard that outside the walls, it's a bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? Nothing, my friend. Just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. But about the job. First and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners, and it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarry End. They'll fill you in on the details. Understood. I'll go report to them. Don't keep him waiting. Seriously, there's no time for delay. Aiden? Something's up. Susie? You there? Sophie! We're under attack! What? Susie, what's going on? It was a trap! Run! Fuck! Susie? Ralph? Aiden, hurry! They've got all the crystals, everything we have! Have mercy! Please, release me!
Hello? I got nothing to say to you. Get the fuck out! How'd you find my secret entrance? You call that a secret? It was supposed to be. You're out of luck, though, buddy. I still don't know anything about anything. The Dodger sent me. Dodger? Uh, who is... Oh. He told me to say sayonara. Does that help? Okay. Shit. You should have started there. Dodger's looking for the order you owe him. I bet. You see that? Busted leg. That's why I don't have Dodger's order. You need help? Nah. Wait. Don't go back to him. He finds out I botched the job. I'm done around here. And what should I tell him? 
don't matter. He won't give a shit. He'll think I'm fucking him over. Hi, can you go for me? Check out this storage area in an underground parking lot on St. Joseph Street. Cross the fence right in front of the massage parlor, enter the building, and head down the elevator shaft. Well, hey, slow down. First, what would I be looking for if I did this for you? GRE containers. According to the rumor that reached Dodger, there was a military installation here set up in the first days of the outbreak. And where there's military, there's usually a healthy stash of supplies. Uh, what kind of supplies? Don't know for sure, but usually good stuff from before the outbreak. It was only the finest for the military. Medicine, booze, whatever. <laughs> oh, no wonder Dodger wants this delivery so badly. Yep. Here, take these bangers and give it a try, will you? It'd be a big score for all of us, but I'm out of the running now. Literally. Why do you work for Dodger? You need to ask. Same reason as you. We gotta do what we gotta do to survive. Dodger tips me off where I might find valuables and I go there. If I find some good stuff, I take a cut. A tiny one. A sliver. You know what vultures guys like Dodger are. It's barely enough to live on, but it's better than nothing, I guess. The worst is when Dodger gives me a bum lead. Then I get fuck all. That's happened more than once. No skin off Dodger's nose, though. He's got plenty of guys like me working for him. What happened to your leg? Got jumped by bandits as I approached the site. Barely managed to get away. If you don't do this, Dodger will kill me. So this is a military base? Yeah, they sprang up all over the city at the start of the outbreak. The base has a military side and a civilian side. <laughs> the military side has the good stuff. The civilian side probably has more infected than loot. Look for the military entrance and you can't go wrong. Once you're inside, be careful. Getting to the storage area won't be easy. The setup usually includes generators. Find them to fire up their UV lights. <laughs> that'll help against the biters that'll be camping out there. Okay, I'll be back as soon as I can. Thanks. You're saving my ass by doing this, buddy. <laughs> but I'd wait till night falls to go there. Both zones are probably filled to the brim with infected right now. Well, thanks for the tip. Not that I'm in a hopeless situation, but can you hurry?
Marker nearby. Are you holding up? I'll be fine. How about you? Who are you? Uh, you guys need help? We'll be fine, thanks. What happened? We heard a rumor about this garage. We thought it'd be an easy score, but we were wrong. Dumbasses. Hey. Hey, at least we got far enough down to start up the old military generator and juice up some UV lights. So, what happened then? Further down, the underground parking is fucking swarming with infected. <sighs> Barely made it out of there alive. And then part of a wall collapsed on Jonas and our way to the surface. Well, you won't mind if I give it a try, do you? Knock yourself out. But it's probably not worth it. Unless you want to end up <laughs> like me. Or worse. Yeah, I gotta make good on a promise. Here. If you manage not to die, maybe you'll find use for these. We sure ain't going back. Not that way, at least. Well, thanks. Can you hear those noises downstairs? That wailing? Yeah, like peacock singing. Hallelujah chorus. Must be Howard. <laughs> but bring other infected running. You think it's all clear? Then one shriek and a wave of infected. <sighs>
I think this is the military storage area Hubert told me about. Let's look around. Thank you. 
Filters. Never gonna have enough of these. I'm sure Dodger can use them. Looks like I struck gold. A bottle of Risen Glory Cognac. And some cigars. Hmm, Cubans, the box says. Looks like I got everything of value. Time to head out of here.
You made it. Did you find the stash? Sure did. Thanks for the lockpicks. But what are you still doing here? Is this him? Sure is. Was kind enough to get the goods for us. Saved us a lot of trouble. Very good. So, where did you find out about this? A little bird? What's it to you? Was it a little bird? Met a broken leg? How would you know? Because I broke it. Why'd you attack him? Huber was planning to take the goods for himself. Tell Dodger he didn't find anything. Needed our help to pull it off. But we didn't know why we needed half assed Hubi. And now we don't need you. So, give them to us. Three against one? I like those odds. Count again. I counted. Five corpses. Kill him and take the goods. How's the leg? Uh, no better. But it'll heal. Eventually. Oh, fantastic. Something wrong? I had a chance to meet the bandits you mentioned before. They said that you'd plan on cheating Dodger after all. Okay. The cat's out of the bag. But look, it was only gonna be just this once. Dodger would never find out. But why would you steal from a man who's giving you work? I'm living by the skin of my teeth here. 
No, I thought just this once I'd pretend he gave me a bum lead and take the whole stash. Maybe get a little ahead for once. And the bandits? I figured an ambush would sell the story better. Didn't expect them to turn on me. But then, I'm an idiot, aren't I? Seems like it. Trusting a group of thugs like them? That's what you get for being greedy. I wasn't being greedy. Just... Just desperate. Now I got a busted leg and don't know when I can work again. What happened to them anyway? Now they tried to kill me, but didn't. Whew. Uh, and, and the goods? Did you reach them? I got everything. I'm begging you, don't tell Dodger. If you do, you'll ruin me. Please, d take what you have to him. Tell him I'll be back in business as soon as my leg heals. Why'd you even get mixed up with low lives like that? Seemed reasonable enough at first. Uh, you're interested in helping for a small cut. Then they show up with this psycho, Klaus. Damn it. I'm such an idiot. I, I, I brought this all on myself. Don't tell Dodger, please. I'll think it over. Come on, man. Without work, I'll starve. I, I won't even think about doing it again, I, I swear. Don't make me laugh. You think I'd take your word for anything after this? Uh, believe me, I, I learned my lesson. I'll never do anything like that again. We'll see. What you got for me? I found these filters for one. Mm, okay, not setting my world on fire, but I can move those for a nice profit. How about these? A bottle of cognac and a box of cigars. Now that's what I'm talking about. You see? I knew there'd be something valuable at that military base. You see that, Urban? Can I sniff out the good shit or what? <laughs> Kick ass. Uh, speaking of asses, what was Hubie's deal? Is he trying to duck out on me? Uh, Hubert broke his leg, so I went and got the goods for him. He could use a doctor, or at least someone to look in on him while he's on the mend. Oh yes, he'll definitely need a doctor. What are you talking about? You know what they say, trust in God? But break your camel's legs, just in case. Couldn't hug. What? Hey, this psycho works for you? Well, two solutions are better than one. You wanted to kill me? No, who said anything about killing? I just told Klaus to get the loot. He can be a little overeager at times. You jackass! Oh, come on, don't pout. Look at Klaus. He's not mad about you killing his friends. It's natural selection. You proved yourself stronger than them. You came in handy after all. I didn't know how to get to Hubi, but then you showed up. I waited until you were gone, and paid him a visit. What did you do to him? He was in terrible pain because of that broken leg. So I broke the other one. For balance. That's what happens when you try to screw Dodger. You fucking out of your mind? No need to get all broken up about it. Duralex said Lex. The times we live in are ruthless, and the law must be so too. He's already learned his lesson. He said he wouldn't do it again. Mio? Yeah. How can you be so sure? Any idea how many people Half-Ast has conned? People who are also just trying to get by. Who have families to feed. He's been asking for trouble for a long time. 
He got what he deserved. And he won't scam anyone ever again. Remember, rules are rules. With the whole world collapsing, we need them more than ever. Without them, we'd be no better than a pack of rats. Did you call this following the rules? Your rules? He won't get away with this. Carl will hear the whole story. Carl? He won't dare touch me. I know too much about him. I know too much about everyone. Even Lucas respected me. Who do you think is behind his death? Barney? Sophie? <laughs> Barney and Sophie are just a pair of kids playing in a sandbox that's too big for them. On the other hand, they are really fucked up. You never know what might pop up in their heads. I know one thing, though. Curiosity killed the cat. Thanks for your concern, but I don't need it. I saw the potential in you from the start. But I had to figure out who I'm really dealing with. And how did I do? Oh, you're something else. But you still have a lot to learn, kid. You lied to me about Hubie. Aiden, Aiden, Aiden. This is no world for a saint. A martyr, maybe. If you get yourself killed. At least I'll have a clear conscience. Clear conscience? Wunderbar. <laughs> no one has a clear conscience here. And since you are still alive, neither do you, right? What have you been getting up to, Pilgrim? What are you running from? Next time, find yourself another patsy. Feisty, I like it. We'll meet again, Aiden. Bandits. Oh, and a lot of bodies. Sophie, I'm sorry. I knew it! I knew those motherfuckers would betray us! Fuck them, Aiden. Kill them all! Would you get a load of that? Shit, no. What's that over there? Are you kidding me? Can you believe that? Are you fucking with me? Something weird's going on. What the hell? Survivors. Fucking animals. Find the crystals. Susie had them. Susie? Carl. 
They, they took Carl. What? Where? <sighs> to their camp. We, we must... Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? Sophie, I found Susie. She's dead. I can't believe it. First Birdie, now her. Damn. Damn. Damn! There's nothing you could have done. No. Except that I sent them there. Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. And I don't see these crystals. No! Oh, fuck! Goon! Huge, ugly motherfucker! He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there. Sophie, everything's been taken. Probably took him before you got there. Everything has gone wrong. All right, enough of this playing defense. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp on the roof by the overpass. We're gonna go after Carl and our crystals. Jack and Joe will pay for this shit show. <laughs> How's it going? You alive, man? Fuck. I'm getting sentimental. I haven't said that to anyone since my third divorce. I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the marrying kind. Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned? They took Carl hostage. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Good. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious. But if you can do it, Ator will let us into the center.
inhibitor container detected. Hello? Anybody there? Damien sent me. Hello? What do you want? Damien sent me. He said you have work here. Wrong address, bud. But I just talked to him. Damien, he sent me here. You alone? Why do you ask? Because we're not letting in tour groups. Nothing personal. It's just, you know. We're careful, people. So I'll ask again. Are you alone? Yeah, I'm alone. You'd better be. Now get in and head downstairs. They'll explain everything. Are you interested or not? I'm Aiden. Damien sent me. I'm uh, here for the job. Right. So... You're new around here. Damien asked that too. What difference does it make? Boss asked a question. Now, I'm still trying to figure out why I'm here. Yeah, you're the one dancing around the subject. Okay. Let's talk about the job then. To do it, it's best that you're not all that well known around the bazaar. Well, I wouldn't say I'm all that well known. That's good. That's very good. Looks like we finally found our missing person. Wait, wait, what are you talking about? What do you want from me? Let's just say we work for someone that's dying to meet you. Except he won't be the one dying, I don't think. <laughs> Call him in, boys. <laughs> 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 Die? Oh, you asshole! You set me up! What? No, no, no! I, I swear, I, I would never! I, I was just doing my job! Scouting! It's my job! Who are these people? And why were they looking for me? I don't know, Aiden! You gotta believe me! Please! 
They just told me to send them anyone who seemed new. They didn't tell me why. I don't have any other choice but to do as they say. They have anything to do with Lucas's death. What? No. I mean... God, I... I hope not. That would be... terrible. But I swear, I don't know. So you've sent others before me, and, and then they've all been murdered? What have you done, Damien? I didn't know at first, but I couldn't do anything about it once I found out. I couldn't. How many, Damien? How many people have you sent to their death? Stop it, Agent, stop. I'm sorry. I had to. I'm trapped. Believe me, they have my brother. Your brother? I talk. Fast. They took him and threatened to kill him if I didn't do what they said. I just figured if I did good, they'd eventually release him. I'm being played, and I'm tired of it. I just want my brother back. Will you help me find him? You sent me to the slaughter, and now I'm supposed to forget that and help you find your brother. You're mad. I get it. But look at it this way. He may have heard why they're looking for you. If he could tell you, wouldn't you want to find him? <sighs> All right, fine then. But you better pray that he knows something. Nope. He's not here. No signs of Cliff here. Damn it. You don't think they... He's not... He's not dead, is he? Don't jump to conclusions. But where could they be keeping him? Damn it, this is all my fault. I'm such a fool. Sending people here? Yeah, that's on you. As for your brother, I'm not certain. Where did you last see him? We were in East Quarry and close to Devil's Bridge when they attacked us. They took him hostage and have been using me to carry out their orders ever since... I only did this to keep my brother alive, Aiden. I didn't know others would die when this started. What's Devil's Bridge? It's the name of this building. In the Middle Ages, they said devils haunted it. But then, times changed and no one believed in those things anymore. Before the virus, it was a car repair shop. Now it's full of bandits. And I guess I'll search the area around Devil's Bridge. Aiden, you serious? You'd do that for me? Not a chance. I'm doing this so that no one else dies because of you. I don't want to rush you, but my brother is in danger. spades for each of us kill.
don't like the dark. I'm always afraid someone's Damien? Damien? Nah, I'm Cliff. Wow, resemblance is uncanny. Guards! Wait, stop! Damien sent me. How did you escape? Escape? I have no reason to escape, man. So you're not... You're working with them, aren't you? Well, duh. Listen, Cliff, what I really want to know right now is about the murder of Commander Lucas. The PK commander? What about him? Did you or your people kill him? No fucking way. We're not suicidal. Anyway, we got bigger fish to fry. Like you, for instance. Me? What the hell do you mean? You and Damien haven't figured it out? Oh, well. I love my brother, but he's a dope. Always has been. You tricked your brother to send innocent men to their deaths because you wanted to find me? Waltz can run it all down for you himself. Or rather, for what you've got from Dylan. Wait, Waltz? Where is he? Dunno. They haven't filled me in on all the details yet. Aiden? You there? Have you found Cliff? Yes. But you won't like it. Damien, bro. Unfortunately, now's not a good time to chat. And as for you, you finally found Dr. Waltz. Downside? He's found you. That's him, fellas. The one who took the doc's toy. Cliff? Fuck! What? What are you saying? The doc's gonna be thrilled! <laughs> 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 Still there? Come in, Damien. Can you hear me? Ada. Did the lead pan out? Nah, dead end. I'm not surprised. What can you do? 
I'll keep digging. Scammers. Don't make me laugh. I'm a white man. I'm supposed to sell you, my dear goat. What you got against you? Damien, what's this all about? Let me in. You hear me, Damien? Open this door before I bust it down. For you to say you weren't there. Wait, wait, wait. What's what's going on? Where's Damien? He locked himself in the tower. And what's that all about? Beats me. Just started raving about something being all his fault. He was in a bad way. He's not answering his radio. He didn't look like he was in a talkative mood. Any other way into the tower? Not really. Not by ordinary means. People have tried to climb the wall, but those who have usually end up getting scraped off the ground. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Jack and Joe are just plain sneaky scum. I'm gonna have to get going, but it's been...
Damien, stop or I jump! Wait, okay. I've stopped. Relax, Damien. Let's both relax. What do you want? To talk. About what? How about Cliff? About your brother? What about him? For one, I... I should apologize. For what? What happened to him, Hayden? Well, I... Uh, look, it's only fair that you know. Know what? That it's my fault. I killed him, not you. Oh, so you want me to jump? Is that it? Rub salt in my wounds? Of course you killed him! Do you think that changes anything? For anyone? It could. Maybe take some of the burden off of you. Nice try, but no, Aiden. No! I brought all of this down on myself. On me. On those poor victims. On my brother. And even you. And maybe I should just live with that. But I don't want to. At least not for very long. Only for about, say, 15 floors? I can handle that. Goodbye, Aiden. No! What's going on here? Hello, I'm Henkel. This student here was curious about my lesson today. About when the guns were confiscated in Villador. And what happened afterwards. He wants to light a candle on the site of the March Massacre. The March Massacre? Yes. 64 people died that day. Gunned down like sitting ducks. If you want to know more, you should go and see for yourself. Why can't he? No one can leave the building while school is in session. Children shouldn't walk around the bazaar on their own. Hmm. I thought you'd be more worried about them falling into a dark zone. Oh, kids nowadays are too smart to fall into a silly hole. Anyway, could you? Light a candle for him, young man. You might learn something yourself. Sure, though I was pretty lousy at history. History is boring when someone tells you about it. It starts being fascinating when you can touch it. Touch it? Yes, take this candle and go to the monument of the World Art Congress. Or what's left of it. It's close by. Contact me when you get there. You'll see what my lesson is about today. Jack and Joe are just plain Our rules, let them come up with that. Inhibitor container detected. Container nearby. Ow. 
Hey, Hankel, I'm at the monument. You were right. Not much left of it. Good. Look closely. There is much more to it than meets the eye. What happened here? That is where the riots started. People were terrified. How could they protect themselves and their families? There was massive unrest. So, a curfew was put in place. And homes were raided to ensure no one was hiding any weapons. Punishment for those who didn't comply was quite severe. Ah, there's a plaque here. Oof, a lot of names on it. Are those the victims of a massacre? Yes, 64 names. Things were starting to get pretty bad outside the walls around then, and the army needed more weapons. So they confiscated the civilians' weapons. Private ownership of any sort of firearm and its ammunition was forbidden thereafter. Shots were fired. The army started shooting at people. Panic broke out. And of course, things only got worse. 
The riots escalated. It was the beginning of the end. Light the candle. So you're saying that Pratt made a bad call, taking people's guns away? Hard to know for sure, but it didn't end well for anyone. In fact, the main irony <laughs> is that the army soon ran out of ammunition. And just like that, firearms became obsolete. At least, that's what's generally believed to have happened. Now, you'll hear some folks claim that Pratt kept a secret stash of ammunition somewhere in the city. But if so, he took that secret to the grave. So I guess we'll never really know. And that's the thing about history. We rarely ever really know. It's not a hard science. History is fragile as the passing of time. It takes the vigilance of people like myself to make sure it's not rewritten to suit the whim of each new generation's self-righteous fight. The duty of remembrance. Everyone should practice it. Farewell now, Pilgrim. I hope this little trip down memory lane has illuminated your path. Who's gone? Do you need help? Oh, no, my friend. <clears throat> Thank you. But there's nothing to be done here. But why? Who did you lose? My fish. My precious fish. <laughs> Can you imagine what it's like to keep fish when water is so hard to come by? But <clears throat> they were my friends. My teachers. Why would you sacrifice water for fish? <clears throat> but why not? Because water is expensive. It's a rare commodity. <sighs> oh, I know that. I had to give away almost all I had. My supplies, a flower, and my father's weapons. But they can't survive without the water, of course. And out there, in the world, who knows? How many fish are left? <clears throat> Most water has been polluted. Oh, all the dead fish I've seen floating belly up. Such a sad sight. Why are fish so important to you? <clears throat> Can I ask you a question in return? Why is this weapon so important to you? I needed to protect myself, you know, to survive. Ah, <laughs> you see, it's all so subjective, isn't it? What's necessary, what's not? <laughs> For me, fish are fundamental to existence. Fish teach you everything you need to know about life. So, what did you learn from fish? Oh, uh, how much time do you have? Because they've been teaching me for years. <coughs> they taught me how to listen to others. They're great listeners, you see? And they helped me sleep. <coughs> have you ever seen a sleeping fish? So still, so peaceful. Uh, they don't mind being stared at all the time and aren't bothered when rude people knock on the walls of their tank why is that? Patience. Oxygen is important. Almost as important as water itself. Have you ever seen what happens when water lacks oxygen? <clears throat> well, I could go on and on. But I guess it's not the same if it's not coming from the fish themselves. 
And now I'm curious, where are your fish? Unfortunately, like I said, my fish are not with us anymore. And they're gone. Well, what happened? Uh, <clears throat> someone ate them. Wait, wait, someone ate your fish? Someone broke into my home and ate all of my fish. Then he drank all the water. The water you sacrificed so much for. Who? Tell me. Want me to go after him? Uh, nah, forget about it. I think I know who it was. I saw discarded fish bones in front of his place. Uh, but um, let's forget about it. What? You don't want revenge? He ate your fish. <sighs> One of the many things fish teach you, as I mentioned, is patience and accepting what fate brings you. <sighs> Once you watch them for a while, just swimming in their tank, they don't question where they are. They don't complain that the tank is too small. They just are. Wait. Wait, what? So, so, so let me get this straight. You spent everything on the water for your fish, then someone ate your fish and drank that water, and yet you're not angry? Oh, I was angry. But what does anger do for me? It causes nothing but negativity and remorse. <coughs> Maybe one day we'll fish in rivers and oceans again. Fishing. Ah, yes. <laughs> fishing can also teach you a lot about life. You sound like some kind of fish monk. <coughs> I'm poor as a monk now. That is for sure. Farewell, my friend. I'm sorry you can't learn anything from my fish. Hey there. Rehearsing for the big night? Where did you come from, handsome? I heard you, uh, singing. Don't lie to Lola, sweet cheeks. Bet you thought someone was strangling a cat. Uh, not at all, I, I... See this neck? You shouldn't be able to. Usually, it's wrapped in the softest, <laughs> most rare of mink stoles. Lola was the grand dame of the bazaar. But until reunited with her beloved Mink Stole, she is unfit to perform. But how will Lola dazzle anyone without her beloved Mink Stole? Without it, I can't hit the high notes. And you don't see Mink scampering about everywhere, do you? Uh, where is it? Earlier, a strong gust of wind ripped it from Lola's tender throat and carried it away. I saw it flapping from the scaffolding near the GRE quarantine, at the intersection of Market and Horseshoe. Lola is powerless to retrieve it. Uh, I could. Would you? Lola could return to the bazaar to entertain, not frighten children like a lurking screamer. Well, we can't have that. No, indeed. Thank you, my knight in shining Whatever it is that you're wearing, I shall await you at the bazaar. Hurry, my fans await!
Damn! Almost had it. It's gone again. Inhibitor container nearby. Got it. Oh. Looks more like Squirrel than Mink. Well, I'd better get to the bazaar and give this to Lola. Here you go. My precious Mink! Oh, you are truly sent from above. Lola is complete once more. You deserve a reward. Do you wish Lola to reward you with a song? Um, uh, no thanks. I, I really gotta be going. How sad. How I wish to serenade my conquering hero. You deserve a more proper reward than a song anyway. Take this with Lola's deepest gratitude. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> 